Every climber has an idol, a source of motivation that pushes us to surpass our limits. Someone who we look up to because they are very strong or because they have achieved something that no one else has done before. It could be the first person who climbed the hardest route in the world, or the guy who free solo El Capitan in Yosemite, or could be just a regular dude in your local gym. When I started climbing, I learned most of what I know watching tons of videos and documentaries, getting fascinated about how strong climbers are and the technique that they're using. I couldn't believe how strong you have to be to do a plank with your pinkies like Jan Oyer or the incredible mind control of Chris Sarma. A few years back, when I started my YouTube channel, I realized that I want to see these people achieving incredible things and even more. It was then when I realized that there is someone else at the top of the Everest when you see someone conquering the summit. That's right, the guy behind the camera. Do you remember that we were talking about idols at the beginning of the video? Well, since I decided to spend my spare time climbing and studying filmography, that role model is Jimmy Chin. But first, I want to introduce you one of my most devoted followers, Julia. Thank you so much for supporting this channel from the beginning, and for that, I'm gonna send you this unique Donkey Climb chalk bag. Secondly, I would like to say goodbye to all my pupils from the climbing lab. I hope you keep crushing as you do, and who knows, maybe you could be the next one in the climbing art series. And now, let's get back to the video. If you are into mountaineering, you probably have heard about him. This tough Asian looking guy is Jimmy Chin. He was born in October 1973 in Mankato, Minnesota. His parents emigrated from China and made a life working as a librarian. With everything pointing at the opposite direction of his future, one day he decided to become a dirtbag climber and live in the back of his 1980 Subaru wagon. He goes fully nomadic for seven years, following the season to climb and ski in Yosemite and anywhere else that he can find a place to park. Just like me, Jimmy also admired other mountaineers like Conrad Anker or Alex Honor, who in turn admired this guy, Marc Andre Leclerc. And if you don't know who these people are, I truly recommend you to watch the documentary Free Solo, Meru, and the Alpinist. You can thank me later. Amongst others, Jimmy also admired Rick Ridgway, Galen Roll, David Brochers, and Yvonne Chouinard, who have done incredible things for the climbing community and the filmmaking industry. Courage, adventure and storytelling became a foundation tripod in Chim's eventual career as professional climber, skier, photographer and filmmaker. Over the past decade, he has enjoyed enormous success both behind and in front of the camera. He realized that he can make a living with a camera while climbing with his partner Brady Robinson. One morning, Chins borrowed Robinson's camera and took a photo of the sunrise at Del Capitan, his first ever photo that was sold for $500, a real fortune for a vagabond. At 23, Chim organized his first international climbing expedition with Robinson. They went to Pakistan's Karakoram Mountains and established the first ascent on Fatih Brak in the Karakusa Valley. For Jimmy Chin, planning the trip, finding funding, climbing a dangerous route in a very remote mountain in the world, and documenting the whole adventure with his new camera was a pivotal moment. The photos he took appeared in several authors' magazines. Most importantly, his success caught the attention of the mountaineer legend Conrad Anke, who in 2001 helped Chin get his first professional gig shooting a campaign for the North Face and a covered athlete sponsorship for the brand. In the following years, Anker and Chin became very good climbing partners and friends, and their success in climbing mountains and documenting the unexplored helped Chin's parents to understand and see the value of their son's no traditional path. This is just a taste of Chin's life. There is a lot more about this adventure filmmaker that you can find on his website and watching his videos. I'm leaving some links for you below. This is a perfect example of where your passion can lead you. And now, let's create something that highlights his exploring nature. Enjoy!
Here's the final review. 